When Nelson Mandela cast his vote at the Bushlanga Institute in Inanda in 1994, people in the township believed they were free. But unemployment, AIDS, poverty, crime and violence are rife in Inanda township today, and the people have lost their hope. They don't know what to do. They don't have skills. They don't have this relaxation that coming with health like yoga that will change their mindset and give them health and hope. People do crime and get bad things from stress or problems. Uh, well, if you do yoga, you get relieved and that problems will be solved. Yoga will help. Recent crime statistics have revealed that Ananda Township is one of the most violent places in the Itikwini area. But people who live here face another silent killer. South Africa has the highest AIDS incidence in the world and nearly 40% of the country's HIV AIDS population live here in KwaZulu-Natal. In the townships, people suffer such trauma. They suffer from AIDS, HIV, TB. Yoga will help to increase the immunity. When we learn how to breathe properly, we bring more oxygen into the body. Many viruses and bacteria can't live in a place of high oxygen. What yoga does also, it helps to drain the lymph, which helps to remove toxins from the body. People would have better circulation, more tranquil thoughts, and better eating habits, which would go a long way towards healing people that do have specific problems, especially HIV. By doing yoga, you de-stress the body and you learn to deal with life as it is, here and now. You go to do yoga, you exercise, you don't think about bad things. I can see that I will improve in what I'm doing. I'll be better than I'm, I'm, I am now. People will change completely their whole attitude towards life, their way of eating, their way of living, their way of communicating with other people will change completely. Never realized that yoga maybe can be around me. If you do yoga, it's like you like your body, you love your body, and you like, you love your life. <laughs> 